right, guys. Time to get out there and check some traps. It's 4.30 in the morning. Five and a half hour drive. Catch some wolves. guys back out here on the trap line again just uh, in here breaking in my trail you can see that's where the bridge used to be it's since collapsed and so I just scab them for a little bit off there and built myself a nice little ramp took a couple hours but it's starting to get dark head back to the cabin make something to eat here again tomorrow and get the rest of the trail broken hopefully and we'll make some links to these. All right, see ya. All right guys, back out here on the trap line and just made a, a set for wolves. I got this spot, it's kind of a spot where the mountains come down, necks into this good little spot here and um, there's a bit of a clearing right in front of me and a hill that kind of drops down. And so some of that out there gets kind of windswept. So I, I'm moving my set in a little ways. And what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm going to try commercially bought coyote urine and I'm gonna see if I can catch a wolf with it. And you can see I stepped off my snow machine here, went up and uh, I got my Alaska number nine bedded right beneath that little pine tree there and I threw my drag back over there. And, made the set you know got rid of my tracks as I walked back and now I'm gonna snow machine up there and I'm gonna put some of that coyote urine on that little bush here so we'll see how this set does all right see ya all right so I just made another peep post um a little bit of a different situation here I got a spot where my trail lies and I'm thinking that this could be a high percentage chance you know a wolf would come through here He's running down this trail or coming up this trail. You know, made another coyote urine post there and Alaska nine there, so we'll see. All right, guys, we just showed up at one of my lynx cubbies. Um, kind of show you what I'm doing here. I got basically built like a TP, piled a bunch of stuff on there, and you got your entrance here. Um, Put a wing back in there and put some lynx lure on there and bed your trap right in there. And that's what it produced. Got a nice cat. Um, so something new that I was actually taught to do. Um, so when you build your, your, your pen or your cubby or whatever, put your cat on a on a drag. That way he's not ruining your cubby each time. You don't have to rebuild it. So you can see here, this guy's on a drag. And uh, that's how far he went. So if you make your, your drags big enough, they don't go too far. And then you don't have to rebuild your, your cubby. So um, we'll go ahead and get him dispatched and then uh, show you guys the fur a little bit. All right, All right guys. Well, I just caught myself another lynx. Here's the cat. Um, to do I'm, I'm thinking i'm going to try to do some more like informative videos i feel like a lot of my stuff lately has just been like well here's a cat you know but um so i don't know you can see on this guy i got a really nice hookup that number three bridger did a really good job got him high on the wrist and i think number threes are it's a good size trap for cats um it doesn't seem to wear through their skin baited with a chunk of rabbit. I had a roadkill bunny that was like blown in half and hung him up in there and hung a couple snares and I had the foothold. But um, yeah, another nice looking lynx. So I'll have some skinning to do tonight in the, in the cabin. That'll be cool. 
keep myself busy. It's funny, it gets dark around like 4 o'clock and you're like, what the heck do I do now? But, uh, we'll get him dispatched here. I don't think I'm going to show the dispatch, but, um, for anybody who's kind of new to trapping, there's a, a good way to go about doing it. A lot of guys use a piece of rope, but I like to use a snare. And you just kind of wire it onto the end of a, a branch and loop the snare around their head and usually only takes a couple minutes to choke them out but that's a good way to do it just because you don't end up putting a hole in the hide and you don't they don't get all bloody and stuff so but uh no it's a really cool looking lynx nice one i don't know if you guys can see he's got really long tufts on his ears those are super long tufts cool looking cat all right guys all right so there's the cat um, and then this is the remake of the set. I just, uh, he ended up eating that bit of rabbit I had, so I just hung up. He left a little bit of it there, so I hung that back up, and then I'd had my wing hanging off this branch right here. And so I just moved my wing, you can see it dangling there, inside of my cubby, and then reset my trap, and I got my two snares. Put a little bit more lure, and... With all the commotion here, this whole place reeks, you know, like links. So any other cat that comes through this area should stop and check this out. And that wing, just that alone, is plenty enough bait for them. There's another look at the cat. Get him loaded in the sled and go check some more traps. Yeah. Alright guys, well, just got back to the cabin. Here's my cat. Let's skin him later. Uh, right now I'm boiling some Alaska number nines. See you in there. Didn't bring quite enough water. You see, it's like I have to roll around. Actually, I have, to, I have some more water. I might top it off. this is going to make. There we go. Alright, so boiling a trap. I got another one here. Anybody's not really familiar with the last one or not, that's what they look like. This hardcore flip trap. The dog style, right? On like an MD750. Um, the thing I really like about them, they have these big solid posts on the back, and it just makes for a super solid trap. And when you bet it, I mean, you can just feel like just the sturdiness of that trap. It's great. Maybe they pop up through the snow really well. And so those are good. Snow machine's been running good. Just did a bunch of work on an old Polaris Indy Trail 500. Um, well, we got like four cups of water out of the gas tank and a bunch of water, ice out of the fuel pump and out of the carburetors. Pulled the carbs, clean the carbs. Um, put a new throttle cable in, adjusted the, the fuel pump, or the oil pump was totally off. It adjusted the oil pump so it's at the right setting. And, that thing's running a shit ton better. This is amazing it was even running at all before. <laughs> but, 
yeah, so I got that second sled, so, you know, buddies, whatever, people, girlfriend, they want to come out with me, I got another snow machine, and so this is the cabin I've been staying in here, you can't really see, it's kind of dark, but, um, I'll show you guys tomorrow, I'm actually, here in a few weeks, I'm going to be buying a cabin up here, five acres of property, and so I'll have my own place, that'll be uh, really, really cool. But, um, yeah, so, I'm going to show you the setup, what I've been doing. So this place here just got an oil burning stove in it. And, uh, boy, that thing takes two days to get this place warm. So I also got this propane heater. This thing's putting off some good heat. That works pretty good crash in there and do some skinning right here. That's a got my lantern there. I'll just hang the links up right here. I'll have to move the rug and skin them right there. I got this raid flea killer. This stuff actually works pretty good. But it doesn't work very good when it's cold. It doesn't want to spray at all. So uh, of course, get at home. <laughs> but, um, got the buddy heater for backup. Actually, I like to take this guy with me out to the outhouse. It's kind of nice. <laughs> um, got the stove. Been doing uh, Chef Boy RD raviolis every night for dinner. It's kind of cool. Just get your pot here and top her off. You know, have it so water maybe three-fourths of the way up your ravioli can and just drop it in there and boil it and heat it up and there you go. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how interesting any of this really is, but I think it's fun. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. I started kind of doing. I started taking this thermos along with me. I don't know if other people really are doing that, but I just right before I hit the road, I boil a pot of water and I fill this thing with boiling hot water. It lasts for two days, and then I'll open that up to tomorrow, and it'll still be steaming hot. So I like to just take that in case of emergencies. If I need hot water, I got some there. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna blow up these traps, get some food in me, start scanning. I might make a video of that. I'll start scanning the cat. But uh, if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Alright, guys. I'm uh, skinning the cat here. Um, got the paws off there. And, uh, using a rope. This is, honestly works better with a, a snare just because that snare bites real good. You don't have to worry about it slipping off. We'll see when I start pulling on this. This might try to slip off here. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so far so good. I haven't seen any fleas. I didn't get much raid on the guy, but it's working out because it doesn't look like he's got any fleas, which is kind of rare. I'm sure I'll run into some, but Pretty good looking cat. I mean, he's got a little brown in him, but definitely lots of silver too, so it's good. Um, so this is kind of how I like to do it. I know I've seen some guys, they'll actually, <clears throat> they'll skin the paws all the way out. Um, but, but I like to cut them off like this and then later hook a snare onto this and then pull this off of there but my paws are already frozen I'll have to do these when I get home I mean he's just laying here on the ground well had him in the sled all day and then laying here on the ground I mean they're totally frozen wouldn't even want to try to do them right now the rest of them's thawed though plenty good for skinning but here's those tufts I was talking about I don't know why I just think that's the coolest thing Yeah, 
this cat. Alright guys, see ya. Well there it is guys. First Martin I ever caught. See I got him in a 220. This is a big old Martin. This is a nice size one. But these are uh I seen these online on YouTube rather. Come with this idea, you just build a cross, screw that into the tree, and then you got a screw here. You just thread your bait onto the screw and then put your bucket over top of it. And then the 220, if this is cut just to the right width where the 220 pushes right on there, and they're super quick and easy and they work. There it is. First Martin ever. And uh, I lured this with um, Gusto Long Distance Call. So that seemed to work pretty good. And then I also put this Lynx snare in here. Just in case a Lynx came along, you might try to circle this. And I got the snare there. And I seen here, this is where he came up. In here. Dink! Got him. <laughs> yeah, first for everything. That's that's my first one there. So I got some more of these buckets. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put in a couple more sets now. I seen down by the cabin there was a fresh set of Martin tracks there, and then as I was coming up the trail, I seen another set. So. I'm back here at the cabin and I just used my hatchet here and chopped a chunk of links off the chest there, just a chunk of bait. Right here. So this is kind of the design if anybody's curious. Um, space here in the back. This is gonna allow you know room for your um for your bucket and then you got your upright you screw a screw through the back of it and you can just take your bait stick it on here like this kind of hard to do one handed I don't know, you get the idea here let me stop this and I'll start it again all right so here it is and you can see that bites it pretty good I mean it's on there good right so that's gonna hold it and then, let me grab my bucket. You guys props up here on this tree is I don't know how somebody would ever live with one hand. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright. this on my hand. So 
so this is just going to go right on there like that. And we'll take our chain here and for that branch to break and then him take off with my trap. Okay, and then get the bucket. pulls forward a little bit and you can slide your bucket right on it like this. Make sure you take your safeties off. And then on that other set I used Gusto, but I think on this one, because it's right next to the cabin, I don't want to be smelling that stuff. I'm just going to use some tree climbers, Cavens tree climbers. Here. Climber, Martin Lure. This stuff doesn't stink nearly as bad as that other stuff. Couple nice healthy dosings of that. And here we go, that's it. This is wired up plenty high. I got the, the set maybe chest height, and there's plenty of length there for him to hang. and. There it is. All right, see you.